power in partnerships and um, especially partnering with your customers. So um, Shane, you know, what are some key things that people should take away from what we discussed today? So Andrew, first of all, I appreciate you uh, giving us a moment to hear a little bit more about your book and giving me a second to, to gather my thoughts a little bit. Um, so th three key things, if you can get out and start doing tomorrow, I would say get out and meet some new people and grow your professional network that we, we can't fall victim to just being trapped in our day to day and, and being in the weeds of things, no matter where you sit in your company, you got to keep looking for new opportunities. Um, and second is, is leverage those opportunities, leverage your relationships. You know, when you're looking to your, to your network, don't hesitate to reach out and ask somebody for assistance when it's needed. And in turn, make sure that you're opening yourself up to, to allow for your network to, to utilize you as a resource. And then uh, lastly, this, this I really do think it plays right back into the power of partnerships. But uh, support your local community, whether that's you know through uh, nonprofits, getting out and, and being active, or if it's in the services that you provide, but make sure that you're integrated with your with your local community. And I mean, where you live, where you're at, where your business is is a part of that, but also in your in your professional community. Make sure that you're providing support back to the individuals that make that up, because I, I think that that's where there's a lot to be gained, uh, both financially, but also just from a, a place of enjoyment, and uh, it, it brings. It can bring a lot to your life.